Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the top 10 bad boy fragrances. But how does a bad boy smell? Well, a bad boy smells very different than all the other boys out there. He isn't wearing standard colognes like Blue de Chanel or Dior Sauvage, no, no, no. The kind of a cologne that he wears is extremely impressive and effective. And super sexy because we girls can't get enough of them. Now, if you want to smell like that, then grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. And at number 10, we got Sergiov Alexandria number two. Mm. If I could pin a character to this, it would be Lucius Lion from the series Empire. Yes, a very sexy, rich businessman. And he is really bad, but that is what is so attractive about him. That's this, and a masterpiece this is. Ooh, this is really like one of my favorite oud fragrances, and the opening in this is amazing. To me, it has a Coca-Cola vibe mixed with oud. Wow. The main notes that you smell are oud, apple, cinnamon, rose, and lavender. Now, for the new people out there who aren't really used to oud, if you smell this up close, it can be a little bit too skanky for you. But if you smell this in the air, it's amazing then it's not skanky at all. But when I say skank, I mean it in the slightest way as possible. Like it doesn't smell like an ass crack. What are you doing? <laughs> Ma'am! <gasps> oh, oh. Ma'am! No the fuck you just- Luckily, this ain't that. And this really is one of the best oud fragrances that you can get. But this is also a very, very expensive fragrance. And in my opinion, it is worth the price tag, but I would never recommend you to blind buy this fragrance, never. With prices like these, you always need to try before you buy. Because you know, some fragrances can be a hit or a miss on your skin. And with the amount of money that this goes for, you don't wanna miss. Exactly. So always try to get samples from fragrances. And the best sample company out there is Sensplit. They are my number one website to buy decants of. Now, Sensplit is an online perfume store specialized in niche fragrances and they ship worldwide. They provide samples, which is a smart way of trying expensive niche fragrances. They also sample some popular designer fragrances and they only have 100% authentic fragrances. You can now try 10 different niche fragrances for the same price as one full bottle. This is the perfect way to discover if these fragrances are something for you. Now, they use high quality spraying bottles and they offer samples in one milliliter, 2 milliliter, 5 milliliter, and 9 milliliter. And they also offer full bottles at a retail price. Now, Sensplit has almost all the niche fragrances I'm talking about today, so try them out now, linked in the description. And the longevity with this fragrance is easy 12 plus hours with a big projection. So try this one out on Sensplit. And at number nine, we got Givenchy Gentleman. Dark, peppery, spicy, Mm, with a good balance of powdery lipstick. Now, Gentleman helps you smell mysterious, sexy, and elegant all at the same time. And the main notes that you smell are black pepper, lavender, orris, cloves, cinnamon, vanilla, tolu balsam, and benzoin. This is for the somewhat romantic bad boys out there. You know, there are some guys who can play guitar, you know, being all romantic for their chick to get them into it. This guy is like that, but he has different guitar tricks to get the girls into it. I want a romantic man like that. And this one projects and stays long on you as well. Easy 10 plus hours. So try this one out. And at number eight, we got Initio Mystic Experience. And let me tell you that you will give girls an experience with this one. This is woody, powdery, earthy with a coffee vibe. Super sexy. And the main notes that you smell are sandalwood, amber, coffee, musk, oak musk, and patchouli. Now this one has a vibe of nasamato, black afghano, 
but this one is much better and the ladies react also better to this one than black afghano because this one has more sweetness to it and girls like the sweetness on you and this one is also not too much on the coffee you just get a coffee vibe in the back of it it's more woody sweet sexy musky powery that's mostly what this one is this is very luxurious sensual with a dark edge on it this is perfect for date nights when you know that shit is about to go down now longevity is a good 10 hours and the projection is moderate it stays a little bit close to the skin but it leaves a good sillage so um try this one out and at number seven we got montal honey oud the mr steal your girl fragrance that's what this one is a lot of people talk about money and cars to fix the hot chicks you know but man if you wear this it doesn't matter what you drive just wear this and girls will be all over you that's the power of montal montal is just my number one fragrance brand because they make powerful bombs like these you will project like a mofo so all the girls will smell you and it's a big compliment getter as well now the main notes that you smell are cinnamon honey oud and amber when it is nighttime or it is very cold then you only need to wear this nice warm sweet intoxicating scent ah very sophisticated and delicious now this isn't your fragrance to smell really up close but it does a very amazing job when it's smelled in the air amazing and this one stays an easy 12 to 16 plus hours on your skin easy maybe even longer with a big projection and sillage so really try this one out and at number six we got dior fahrenheit le parfum yes so not the eau de toilette don't think that i've changed my mind because i still hate the eau de toilette i'm talking about le parfum this one is 10 times better boozy leathery and sweet with an old school vibe to it but it's good blended and the main notes that you smell are suede leather licorice violet leaf rum and bourbon vanilla i really see a guy like jason statham wear this like it's that masculine for me but it also has this slight slightly sweet edible vibe like really in the background and only 10 percent but you want to get to that you know but you need to go through all the rugged masculineness of this fragrance it really intrigues us women that's how good this one is longevity with this one is an easy 10 to 12 plus hours with a good projection so try this one out now give me a trash bag to throw all this crap away no baby it cannot be a white one baby i said the black trash bag why does it have to be black because the black ones are bigger that's what she said Brody. exactly the black ones are bigger and better that's why you need at number five my favorite bbc big black carolina yeah what were you thinking that i was talking about hmm? warm spicy and fresh shower gel at the same time that's what this one is and girls love the smell of fresh and sweet together but this one also has this edible vibe to it nice and main notes that you smell are tonka bean cacao cedar pepper and amberwood and the amberwood makes this fragrance project and that's what you want because you want the girls to smell you with this one this is very strong and sweet and a crowd pleaser and for the people who said this one is not so strong it goes away very fast have you sprayed at least 15 times and if 15 doesn't work then you're gonna spray 20 times don't be a sissy sprayer go heavy on the trigger if it doesn't last, go heavy, pa, 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 spray more. Then it will stay. Please, the sexy pussycats around you. Wow. Longevity is a good eight to 10 hours with a very good projection. If you spray enough, try this one out. And at number four, we got Mancera's Red Tobacco. Yes. Now this one is a bit harsh. Definitely an opening. An opening, it is not nice. Oof definitely not nice but you have to go through it like after 10 minutes this one starts to become more beautiful and beautiful and beautiful it's a warm spicy tobacco oody kind of a fragrance and i think the oud punches you really in the nose in the opening but that has to go 
down a little bit and then it's good. So this one has to warm up a little. And the main notes that you smell are cinnamon, oud, saffron, incense, patchouli, tobacco, vanilla, sandalwood, musk and vetiver. If you wait the 10 to 15 minutes when this one is developing better on your skin, then you will be rewarded by the amazing smell of this. And girls, like this one then as well. It already is starting to get better and better. Even on strip. Can you imagine on skin? Yeah. Now this really is a rough kind of a tobacco fragrance. Like it has the sweetness, but this is more rough. So this is really for the bad boys out there. Longevity is easy, 16 plus hours, big projector. Just get like a five or a nine milliliter decant on Sensplit and it will go a long way. Try this one out, test it. And at number three, we got... Yes, sexy sex bomb, Spice Bomb Extreme, ooh, the ultimate bad boy. My man, listen to me, it is not for nothing that this is my favorite designer fragrance. Oh, because when I wore this, I swear like girls almost attacked me. And I understand because I attack men as well who smell like this. This just smells so good, like you almost don't have to work for it anymore. Girls really get crazy over this. Really crazy. Do it now, lick it good, suck this pussy just like you should. <sighs> exactly. And the main notes that you smell are vanilla, tobacco, black pepper, caraway, and lavender. Fresh, spicy, sweet, and very, very masculine. And this just has like bad boy written all over it. And it's truly unique. There is no other thing that smells like Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb has that, ah, it has that. You wanna eat someone up who wears this. Now, if you like spicy fragrances and if you want to add some spice to your life, then really try this one out. Longevity is easy 10 plus hours. I get even like 12 or 16, depending on how much you spray. And I go like crazy. But this one is just really good like that. And the projection is amazing as well. Everybody is going to smell you with this one. I have gotten so many compliments with this. So try this one out. And at number two, we got Risada's Ambassador Intense. Yes. I will keep hyping this one until everybody got this. That's how good this one is. Oh. Ooh, sexy. This is a better, darker version of the original. So if you already liked the original, then you're gonna love this one as well. It smells like the original. Then they took Dior Sauvage Elixir. Boom, mixed it with that one. Put a Coca-Cola vibe to it, made it even nicer. And then you got this. So if you like the original, if you like Dior Sauvage Elixir, this with a Coca-Cola vibe. That's what this is. Now the main notes that you're gonna smell are grapefruit, lavender, cardamom, pink pepper, frankincense, cinnamon, tonka bean, leather, patchouli, and musk. Like there are a ton of notes in this fragrance, but it has a little bit of everything. It has some freshness, it has the fruity freshness, and it has the spicy darkness together. Ultimate bad boy. And the face of this fragrance, they got the perfect guy. Michelle Marone, who played in the movie 365 Days. So if you want to smell like a sexy mafia boss, then this is it. This one is super masculine, super sexy, and super mysterious. And you want to find the guy who wears this. You want to, you want to figure him all out. You want to know everything of him. All the inside and out. So this one is really bad boy, bad boy. He's not going to give you the sensual romantic nights. Nope. This is the guy who gives you these kind of a nights. Longevity is easy, 12 to 16 plus hours with a massive projection. Try this one out. And at number one, we got a new fragrance discovery of mine. It is Suradora Brosseliande. Yes. Now I must say, all fragrances from Suradora are very special and unique. Very unique, all of them. But this, this is my favorite. And it's an ultimate bad boys fragrance. This fragrance has 
three stages. So in the opening, you're gonna get lemon-like bergamot cocktail with candy sweetness. That's what you're gonna get in the opening. Later, the cocktail mixes with the sexy vanilla. It already starts a little bit to get darker. It already starts to get more interesting, more musky more masculine and in the ultimate dry down the darker notes come out then you get the powdery iris with the dark warm booziness together so it is a citrus vanilla dark masculine fragrance that's what it is now the main notes you're going to smell are cinnamon caramel rum styrox lime lemon iris ginger and vanilla truly a unique fragrance i haven't smelled anything like this and the thing that i also like is that it changes like three times throughout the whole wearing but the dry down the dry down is where it gets the sexiest now this fragrance is very very high in quality you can smell how unique and amazing this one smells like it's really really good quality like they use 20 percent of oil in here i can see it so that means that this is an extrait de parfum and the projection of this one is also very good like really big really loud oh, so good and the longevity is amazing as well easily 12 hours easily so if you want to smell unique sexy and boozy you have to try this one out and because i got contact with the guys of sora dora i also got a discount code for you guys it is curly 10 so you can get the 10 percent off if you're interested in getting this one for the guys who really want to smell unique and different and sexy try this one out all right guys and this was the fragrance video of today hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what is your bad boy fragrance so let me know and see you in the next video Mwah! Bye-bye.